I got uh, today a uh, item from True Form Armatures. I've always said that uh, artists are determined by their tools and their reference material as well as their talent. And uh, this is a tool like anything else. It saves me time. Uh, it's a, an armature for a horse. I've never seen this yet. Oh, you got a little figure too. And this goes, this is scaled to the horse as well. Um, this uh, little guy, which is kind of cool. Boy, that saves some trying to figure out what size to make. All right, let me get the uh, thing out of here. Wow, this is really cool. It's uh, a lot smaller than the uh, quarter life, quarter sized horses you, you can get. Um, let me go ahead and get all this stuff out and I'll be right back. That's the size box it comes in, which is really great. Now, I know they ship overseas, and when they do, they ship just the uh, horse and the uh, skull, as well as the uh, hardware to hold him up. Uh, you'd have to supply a board to mount the horse on, but in the United States, you get the board, with a flange uh, to uh, attach your horse to it. I'm going to go ahead and get these things unwrapped. If you didn't know that uh, I am currently working on my sixth uh, DVD, which is going to be instructional DVD, which is going to be on uh, sculpting the mountain man that I gave little snippets of while I was working on it. But uh, the next one that I'm going to start working on next week, hopefully back in my uh, studio, will be a uh, horse piece. And I'll be using this uh, armature for doing that. This is the uh, skull part of the uh, horse. They wrap it very carefully so that nothing harms it. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. That's really nice. And you just slip it onto the uh, wire, aluminum wire. And uh, now I'm going to attach the horse itself to the armature. That's support, I mean. And what, what it does is it has a little groove up here at the end of the rod, and you just put your backbone down over that, and then you just uh, tighten up the uh, nut, and uh, you can, voila! And you can raise... Uh, the horse up to any height you want. You can, uh, you know, place it any way you want to place it. It's just uh, really helpful to have that. And then you got the uh, all the bones already sculpted. So all you have to do is attach the muscles to the uh, horse, which is dynamite. Now let me get that little figure. This figure was made to uh, go with this size horse. And it's scaled to uh, fit the horse. And you can, of course, put the uh, figure on top of the horse, which I think is really, really cool. So, anyway, I'll have information down below on where you can get these um, figures and stuff like that. And I'll uh, show little snippets of me working on the... Uh, whoop! <laughs> the uh, uh, sculpture next week. Now... This is the Flex uh, rib cage, 
and uh, you know it, some people get really accurate in you know the the form of the the horse and the movement of the horse, and they want that flex uh, to uh, uh, react like a real rib cage. Um, now I've had I've read uh, from people who've worked with flex uh, rib cages, and they said that the clay wouldn't stick to it. Well, cold laying cold clay onto it, yeah, it's going to be hard. But if you heat your clay up like I do uh, under a lamp to to soften it up, and then you pl apply it, that heated clay will adhere a lot hot, a lot quicker to the uh, the uh, rib cage. I've never really had any trouble working with this kind of a uh, uh, flex rib cage. And uh, like I've said always in the past, whenever you uh, bend uh, joints, always do it close to the uh, tip. Don't go pulling up here or here because you could break uh, the uh, the bone. Of course, if you do, they, they, they'll always replace it. But uh, you can move these things all any way you want to. I'm going to wait and do that when I decide on the uh, design that I'm going to use. So that's the uh, stuff that I got from Trueform today. And uh, boy, do I love it. All right, uh, see you uh, next time, and uh, happy sculpting.